What's up, KB Nation? It's your girl, The Real Crochet, and I'm back with another cooking video, okay? Well, me and Bae. Bae, we need to get you an apron. You know, so you can just, you know, so we can look alike, you know? Right. Yeah, that's what we should do. Okay, y'all. So, me and Bae are making chicken sandwiches. I mean, we're making spicy chicken sandwiches with homemade french fries and spinach dip, okay? Because I just really was craving spinach dip, okay? I already seasoned the chicken sandwiches for real because it's a lot of steps and it's kind of late. So I ain't want I want to speed the process. So in this bowl, I'm stabbing the chicken a little bit so the flavor can soak in. Okay, but y'all, in this bowl, I put a little bit of milk, some pickle juice, Tabasco, garlic powder, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce, salt, Cajun powder, Cajun seasoning, and pepper, okay? That's what I put in here. And I stabbed the chicken so it can all soak in a little bit. So, what we're about to do now, because I feel like we have so many different things to do at one time. Um, we have, while the grease is getting hot, I think, babe, oh, sorry. Can you get a bowl for the flour? We're gonna do the flour, and I need to rinse the, the spinach so we can make the spinach dip. Pay, hey, what the freak we gonna bake the spinach dip in? Our little pan thing. The one the meatloaf is in? Oh, I hate that. Damn, y'all, we gotta wash the dish. We'll be right back. Y'all, yeah. so, for those that can tell, we might be a little Smack. But anyways, um, <laughs> so I'm about to season this flour because now Bay is washing out the pan that we need to put the spinach dip in because we're making a lot of spinach dip because we smack. So <laughs> I got the flour. I put some Cajun seasoning in the flour. We got the chicken. Okay. Let me. Uh, I'll be back. Hey. Okay. We got my rich spinach right here. Don't talk about it. Just gonna move some stuff around. It's just a little club right here, okay, y'all? Because I'm supposed to be doing the spinach dip, okay? Don't talk about it. So, we got our chicken, we got our flour. So we're gonna take it, we'll hold on first. Let me make sure the grease is hot. It's getting there. Okay, so we're gonna take the chicken, put it in the flour. Go on ahead and move that around. I got nails, y'all, so we ain't doing it. I just don't feel like it, okay? All right, and then we're gonna take it, dump it back, flip it over, back in here, back in the flour, okay? Yeah, we want it super coated, okay? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You see that? When it look all thick and nasty. Now, I'm gonna make sure the grease is actually ready for real this time. Your grease is ready. We're gonna go ahead and drop this first. Patty right on in. Okay, now we're gonna do our next one. Okay, yeah. How that pan coming along? Now, I'll just ask him because you sound like you're struggling a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and. We'll be back, y'all. Technical difficulties. Y'all, so I took the first piece out of the fryer, okay? Now, it's crispy, but is it cooked? Let's see, we're gonna cut a piece. 
Oh. No, I think it should go in a little bit longer. Like, a few more seconds. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I put that piece back in there. Trial and error, you guys, because I'm doing this batter different. I'm doing it thicker, but now I'm wondering if I should do it as thick because I think the batter cooks quickly. But trial and error, okay? But I haven't dropped my second one yet. So I think the next two, I'm gonna just do them just one dip instead of two, okay? So. However though, the flavor on the batter, but I just tried it. Delicious. Okay, so I just took this piece out. I'm gonna have Bay cut it again in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop the second piece. And we're just gonna let it cook a little bit longer. A few little seconds longer, because I did take this one out. So I feel like maybe I should just let it a few, you know, a few more. But, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Because I don't think I'm gonna need another piece of that. It's good. It's hot. I'm telling you now, because I know how you are. So blow it. Airplane. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh, uh. Let me take this piece, make sure it's cooked all the way through on this side. Okay, y'all, it's cooked. You like this flavor? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna just do this one one time. <clears throat> I almost dropped the whole bowl on top of the spinach, but I caught it. Uh -huh. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that one time, huh? So that would have been a disaster. So we got it. Just gonna do this one once. So we ain't got the time. The extra thickness probably is the problem. We don't need that, I guess, y'all. I was trying to, you know, I was trying to see, look, I been trying to try stuff different ways than the way I'm used to, because I know how to make chicken sandwiches. I've made them before. But I've seen stuff on, you know, other people's platforms. And I'm like, mm, I'm going to try that. I guess. Now, you know what? If I was trying to make chicken fried chicken, that would have been, you know, so if I'm making chicken fried chicken sandwiches. But I'm not. I'm making regular chicken sandwiches. But okay, y'all, so we only got one piece of chicken left. And then after I fry the chicken, we're gonna move on to the spinach dip. I believe it. Y'all, so Bay is cutting the potatoes. And I'm waiting on one more chicken patty to come out the deep fryer. And then I'm going to cut our spinach, which I already rinsed. Y'all can see it's wet. So is the camera, we're gonna talk about it. But in the spinach dip, we'll be putting sour cream, cream cheese. What the hell else? <laughs> well, it was something there. Sour cream, cream cheese, cheese. It was something else, y'all. It was something else. I, I can't seem to remember right now what that other item was, but it was something else. Lord have mercy. Dang, what else in there? I don't know. Mm. 
It's something so simple. That's what's irritating me. Y'all, let me go back to the recipe. It's something so simple. You said cream cheese, milk. Cream cheese. Cheese. Sour. Oh, y'all, I'm dumb. Ooh, babe, I'm smacked. Whoa. Spinach. <laughs> was spinach dumb. is the other thing. It's spinach, sour cream, cream cheese, and cheese. Oh, my God. Okay, we're not even gonna talk about it. Bay is cutting the fries, okay? And then Bay is going to season the fries with salt and pepper and a little Cajun seasoning and she's gonna drop them in the fryer, okay? I, I need to get my mind right for a second. Y'all yeah, don't know how this just happened, cause what, how did I, Spinach. Spinach is the thing that you need for spinach dip. Woo! That good, good. Y'all be right back. Y'all, sure. she moving slow too, so. <laughs> I got the potatoes. We're gonna season with salt and pepper. She cut these in all kinds of shapes. Don't do it. As long as they taste like potatoes. Right. Like french fries, that's all that matter. Y'all, my, I, I don't normally, I don't normally do this the way I'm doing this, so I'm struggling a little bit, you know? Okay, salt. Little Cajun season. Just, just, just gonna give them a little toss. A little toss. Okay, and we're gonna drop these into the fry. Okay, can you rinse that? Cause I'm gonna chop the spinach and put it in there. So now, we're gonna move on to the... <laughs> Good day! Okay. Ooh, y'all, the struggle is real. Let's not talk about it, okay? Normally I don't do this, but I, I told myself I was gonna record a video and I allowed myself to get distracted. And I shouldn't have. So, we here at the motherfucking birthday party. Smacked. Okay. I'm trying to cut as much of the spinach, but down to the stem. Spinach, y'all, we using only fresh. Some people say they use chopped, some people use frozen. We use it fresh, we ain't got time. We ain't got time. Oh, yeah, I cut that like greens, I don't know why. <laughs> I shouldn't even have taken it out the thing then. Okay. Now y'all, this is my first time ever making spinach dip. Because for a long time, I wasn't really fond of spinach dip, but then I had spinach dip this one way and I fell in love with it. And now I just love spinach dip. So. Here we are with the motherfucking spinach dip. Okay, I was trying to get as much of the spinach for the dip as possible. Okay, y'all, if I waste any spinach, she told me to. We're gonna put all that in this bowl. God damn, that's a lot of spinach. But y'all know spinach. Y'all know spinach get, get small. Okay. Napkin. Give me napkin. See, I'ma season my spinach dip with a little salt and pepper. Let me make sure it'll take us take some of these extra little stems out. My spinach dip gonna be a little skimmy. That's all right. It's gonna be natural from the earth. Hey, there it is. Okay. Um. Okay. So. For the spinach dip, you need cream cheese. You can just put the fries on the plate with the chicken if you need to. Okay, so you're gonna take a whole block of cream cheese, okay? Cause we kinda had, two, we got two bundles of spinach here. So, 
the whole block of cream cheese. I, you know, I hate to see people mix cream cheese while it's like this. Because I be like, man, y'all got arms of steel. But I'm about to do it today. Then you're going to take some sour cream. <laughs> okay? Sour cream. And then basically you're going to season it. So. I'm going to do a little salt and pepper. A little onion and garlic powder. Keep it simple, okay? And then we're going to add our cheese in. And then, of course, we're going to top it with some cheese. Now, baby, look at the parmesan, like grated parmesan. No. Yeah. But you look for real. That little shaker one? Yeah. I look for some I made some of that operator stuff. Okay. Alright, you just ain't never need it. Okay, okay, okay. I was just trying to make sure, because, you know, all cheese counts in this house. Y'all, it's one thing. I love cheese, okay? Right. So, we got some Kobe Jack cheese. Okay, I have to make sure we ain't no other cheese just lingering. Okay, but we don't. So, we got some Kobe Jack. We're going to put that in there. <laughs> just lingering. We're gonna put that in there. Mm -mm. Give me that brown spatula. Yes. And then we're just gonna take this and mix it around until all until it's all incorporated. Y'all, it's gonna be a minute. So we give y'all some elevated music. Do 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 do. Do 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 yeah, toast. <laughs> All of that. All of that. All of that. Oh, Woo, my wrist already hurt. We ain't even. I guess we made a little progress. If you, if you look at it, the glass half full, not half empty. Cause what? Wrist empty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what Chris Brown said. Oh my wrist. Do y'all watch Josh and Mama? That lady that be cooking, that she's not black, of course. Yeah, but the one that be cooking, and she's making herself look nasty. At this moment, I just really want to add some mayonnaise. What? I'm just, <laughs> what? I just need this to blend a little bit easier, because what? The way. Well, hmm. No, it's, it's, it's getting there. Ugh. Maurice, you gotta get the cream cheese all mushed in. Wait, you just toasted that rice, so put it on board. No, I mean, you could leave it on with its own. Yeah, you can leave it on with its own. Yeah, you can leave it on with its own. Mmm, my french fries are done. Quickly, you crunch it. Y'all, I'll be back. I'll be back. Y'all, so we got our little breads. About to put them in the oven. And then Bae finna put our buns in the oven. And then we finna put our spinach dip in the oven. Y'all, add a little bit more shredded cheese. We about to see how this come out because I'm wishing I had more cream cheese. But it smells good, I'll say that. And it looks well mushed. I think I did a good job at mixing it. You know, my arm show feel like I got two more muscles. I got like two more muscles, y'all. It look well mixed and incorporated. Okay. 
Okay. This needs some salt and pepper though. And I know y'all saw about the pepper don't look like coming out. It is coming out. Just got to do it for a minute. I know y'all see that. Y'all don't see that. Okay. All right. Now that we got this all mixed up. We got our pan. We're gonna take this and scoop it all into the pan. You put the buns in there too? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm trying to get it. My arm's really tired, so I'm struggling to scoop this out, okay? My arm burning right now. It's screaming. Okay. So now, this is in the pan. You know, make sure you get all that off there. Okay. Every little drop, every little drop I make, we gon' eat it. It actually looks really good, so. You got that flavor, okay. So then you're gonna sprinkle. A little bit more cheese on top. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit more pepper and a little bit more hint. Just a little, go across the top with a little, let splash, yeah. Okay, and y'all, we gonna go ahead Put this in the oven. Look at it. Oh, okay. And we're gonna put this in the oven and the oven is on 350. Y'all know it's black people temperature. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it in there about seven minutes. And then I'm gonna put it on broil for like two minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so. We back. Now I'm gonna make the sauce that we put on the burgers. So, we got a little ketchup. Okay. Then we got some mayo. We're keeping it simple because I don't like all that extra stuff. Salt and pepper. Which, if y'all know, this is the, the simple ingredient to cane sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce, all them sauces is basically ketchup and mayo. That's the base. And then they add their own seasonings. But we ain't got time for all that. I just want it to be simple and delicious. And boom, we got a sauce, okay? And we got a sauce, okay? So, you don't need nothing else for this. You don't need you don't need mustard for this, you know? So, it's literally just that and pickles, okay? Okay? Okay, nod your head if you understand. Okay, no, I'm just fine. Now, <clears throat> now that everything is complete, Bay has toasted our buns. I want a pickle? Hmm? Do I want a pickle? Yeah, we gotta put them on the burger. Oh. We'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all, so the spinach dip is still cooking. So I'm about to build our sandwiches. Bae does not want cheese. I do, so. So. So, we gonna get into it. Okay. <clears throat> Bae, you want pickles? Yeah. Okay. So. So we're gonna go ahead and put the pickles on. Can y'all see this? Hold on, move that back. Can y'all see this? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put the pickles on. 
Chick-fil-A, they be kind of hoarding them. They be like, they don't be wanting to give you a lot of pickles. Like, no. Nah. Pickles, Dad, I'm gonna give you like two pickles. Right, I want, I want the taste pickle when I buy you some pickle. Okay, so, we got our pickles on. We got our homemade french fries right here. Go ahead and put them on the plate, okay. Yeah, go ahead and put them on the plate. <clears throat> Okay, baked french fries not that bad shape when you look at them like, Five. like on the plate, okay? <laughs> so then we're gonna take, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then we're gonna take a chicken patty, put it on there. I'm gonna take one of these deep fried ones. And then I'm gonna take one of these regular ones, okay? And then, mind your business. Then you're gonna <laughs> take the sauce and you just go, Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And take the sauce and just mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Take the sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 She want hers dripping with sauce, okay? Yeah, you too. Alright, y'all. Are y'all ready for the bite? Yeah. We're finna give y'all the bite. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So, go ahead and put our put our buns on top. Go ahead. Now look at it. Look at mine. Look at mine. Shot. Oh, I'm gonna need ketchup for my fries. But let me try this burger first. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. that was good, but oh, yeah. um, the deep fried one has some technical difficulties, but it's busting. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's try these fries. We can already tried them, but. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you take the spinach dip. See if it's dipping. Yeah, I feel like I need more cheese, but. It seems like it's getting there, right? Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> we don't know. But these sandwiches. Mm hmm. So, y'all, we'll just be back when our spinach dip ready. Okay, y'all. So, our spinach dip is ready. We got the bread. Show it to the camera. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, wait. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Woman. Cause I'm like, you're not showing it right. You gotta show it. Thank Look you. at it. Ooh. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, y'all, so we about to try. Oh, oh. oh this is it fall in her water. <laughs> Just put it in the dirty clothes. Oh, dirty clothes. It's fine. Okay, y'all. We just have a lot of technical difficulties. So y'all, we finna try it. Can you see me? No, you cannot see me. How y'all make you see me and it at the same time? Okay. Y'all can see me, so let's just scoop this. Try and get them back in the frame, okay. So I'm just gonna take, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a new little chip. Oh, y'all see that? It got the dippy dipness. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Smell good. Mmm. Mmm. Spinach dippity dip. Very good. Mm hmm. Mm. 
and go back where I can see you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you have to be moving around? No. This is good. But. And I'll see who, what spinach dip it tastes like. But this is so good. Hmm. Goddamn. This gonna have us on the toilet. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. Be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell another friend, tell your granddaddy. I gotta try them chicken sandwiches, and y'all gotta dip into this dip. Bye!